But there's a story about when George Washington went to Valley Forge with his Continental Army the winter of 1776, and we all know how what desperate measures they were in. And you know, they didn't have clothes on, you know, shoes on their feet, they had no food. He knew that these militias, which were, you know, true blue, red-blooded Americans, um, ready to fight for freedom, but they weren't trained. They were just farmers, for the most part, and merchants. He brought in this Prussian general named Friedrich von Steuben, who didn't speak any English, so he swore at them in Prussian, I guess. <laughs> but George Washington got this guy to Valley Forge over that really abysmal winter, and this guy drilled those militias into the army that eventually defeated the greatest standing army of that time. That's where we are right now. We're at the point where we've got, we've got the passion, we've got the energy, now we need the training. And so what we need to do is plug into all these different areas. We need definitely folks to step up and volunteer for a whole host of different activities. Uh, one of the things we're going to do over the next couple of months is bring in one of the uh, groups from, Anchor, uh, from American Majority, which was the uh, training group down in D Dallas, and train you all on how to get things done. And so I just want to leave you with this, this thought that this is just a sort of an unveiling of our strategy. We're going to work outside the political structure. You can. Obviously, we want people to run as candidates, whether you want to run as a Democrat, Republican, for local seats, uh, General Assembly seats. But this is the strategy we need to use outside of the system. And if we all work together, we can change the face of this state, just like they did in Colorado, from changing it to a red to a blue state with a predominantly conservative um, populace. We can change Rhode Island to a more conservative, fiscally responsible state. We've got the message that's resonating. If it resonated in Massachusetts, it's gonna resonate here. And we have to just stay true to that and stay focused. Focused on that message. And so, over the next couple of months, like I said, just uh, be prepared, we'll, we'll have more information on this. Now the next part of our program. I'd like to uh, introduce someone who you all may have heard of. Uh, <laughs> she's already excited over there. The former mayor of Cranston, uh, our keynote speaker tonight, Steve Laffey. Come on. 